When you enter the world of the artist Piero di Cosimo, you enter the world of Renaissance Italy with its religion, allegories, myths, and pagan symbolism. The 15th century Italian painter has been neglected for several hundred years. Until now, a new exhibition at the National Gallery of Art showcases Piero's work in several large galleries. On the one hand, he's full of the unexpected and uh, the fantastic, um, the improbable. Uh, on the other hand, he also speaks a very human language, uh, one that one could ex uh, describe best as a visual vernacular. Piero was popular in his day and painted for many of the wealthiest families in Florence. He wasn't so much an innovator of technique, but a master of technique for creating stories in paint. The visitation with St. Nicholas and St. Anthony Abbott is a gem in the exhibition. On the surface, the painting depicts a visit by the Virgin Mary to her aging cousin, St. Elizabeth. Piero invites you into the panel. He leads the eye of the worshiper, of the spectator, throughout the picture, so you see many more scenes than just the primary scene. On the canvas, Piero painted a nativity scene behind Mary's shoulder. Above the manger, barely visible, are the Magi on horseback. And on the other side of the painting, a depiction of the massacre of the innocents under orders from King Herod. Piero was a painter of sublime landscapes and dynamic figures. I think the beautiful green verdant hills is really one of his signature pieces and it crosses over all genres of his painting. Perhaps most popular are Piero's mythology paintings. This one shows the rescue of Andromeda, the king's daughter, about to be sacrificed to save the kingdom. In swoops Perseus to save her and slay the sea monster sent by Poseidon, god of the sea. One thing is certain uh, that he had a very um, active and wonderfully strange sense of fantasy. Piero's work is filled with humor and whimsy, as well as serious lessons of both the sacred and the secular. The exhibition runs through early May. Tom Ritchie, Associated Press.